find them. There's like 50 in that pack. Hi my loves and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Um, today I'm going to do a Primark haul for you. This is actually the second time that I'm filming this. I filmed it yesterday and literally it was just a nightmare. I was running out of time anyway. This stuff's been sat here for like a couple of weeks. Um, and because it's been raining and like it's been really bad lighting, I didn't want to use artificial lighting. And then in the end I had to anyway because I ran out of time, but I was waiting for the weekend. So I didn't get to film it until late in the evening. I had to go to my cousin, so I was kind of rushing anyway. Then my ring light broke. Thankfully that was after I filmed. Then I put the SD card into the laptop and it just crashed and like all my files cropped did. So I had loads of other stuff on there as well. Um, so yeah, it was stressful to say in the least, but anyway. Moving on, park that, get over it. Um, I thought I would refill. Um, because I filmed this yesterday, I'm actually taking some of the stuff out. So, like this and this and yeah, other stuff is actually not in the bag and it's kind of been used as well. Um, but I'll go through it. So, the first thing that I got is this net, I don't know what it is, like material. It's like a curtain. Um, but normally when I film I have my other mound drawer behind here but that that doesn't normally go here, it's, up, it's to the side and I have to move it every time I film. So I thought it would just be easier if I get something pretty to put back here so it looks nice for when I film. And then I, this was £3 and then I got some fairy lights and they were 2 50 but I think I'm going to have to get some more because they don't look that amazing. I think maybe if it's more it will look nice but I thought I could create that like bokeh blurry effect and it's just not happening like I don't know what I'm doing wrong so if any of you have any advice please leave it down below because I wanted to do that like nice thing for like the autumn winter months but yeah kind of failed but yeah I got them too and I also got this candle that I'm burning right now this is the red berry and jasmine scented candle and it burns oh, it smells so nice and it burns for 60 hours and this was full pound and the amount of times that I crashed my bag down and I was scared that I'd broken it but I had it um, but it's really nice because it fills the whole room with a lovely smell um, and then everything else is in here I didn't get too many clothes types things I got kind of bits and bobs um, the reason being I had a massive clear out of my wardrobe a couple of weeks ago got rid of like put all my summer stuff away got rid of stuff that I hadn't worn in ages and then I just came across loads of clothes that I had and I forgot about so I'm trying to utilise those before I go out and splurge um, but I got lots of like little bits if that makes sense so one of the little bits which I have actually used as well is um, these foot cushion, seamless footies cushion sole. Basically, they're the nude socks that you wear with dolly shoes. There was there's three pairs in here, and I don't know what the price is because oh, oh two fifty for three pairs. But the reason that I love these ones, I'll show you. Hold on. Um, the reason that I love these is because they've got like a little cushion here, um, just behind your toes, and a little cushion at the back as well. For, like at the back of your ankle and it's great if you've got shoes that aren't like 100% comfortable because it makes them more comfy and it's great in the winter months as well because I don't really like wearing closed shoes I love wearing dolly shoes and obviously your feet get cold and these will help keep them warm because I think it looks a bit ugly when you wear black socks with dolly shoes that being said I did that twice in the last week so yeah um, the next thing I actually got was a pair of shoes um, these are just some Primark shoes I think they were £8 they kind of had this style a lot and then they just change it up a little bit. Um, I think this is like the third edition of the, these, these style shoes that I've actually picked up. Um, but I just like the little gold detailing on there. I thought it was cute and I thought they were good for work. They're like a velvety suede, not velvet, suede material. Um, and yeah, I got those. Um, the next thing that I got, this was all packaged up as well. And I like, as soon as I finished filming yesterday, I ripped the packaging off because... I couldn't wait to like use it and then I had to put it back in the bag where I realised the SD card was dropped. Um, but the next thing is this like blanket throw, it's baby pink, oh it's so soft like I wish I could just sit here and like stroke it all day, I'm not even going to lie. I think this was £12, they had a really really gorgeous grey one with matching grey um, cushions, it was just so stunning but it didn't really go with my ribs. If any of you have got like neutral rooms or grey accents in your rooms, to go and get it but this is super duper soft and i actually have some cushions which i'm just gonna grab i have these already in my bed these are also from primark um i think they still do them even though i got these ages ago but i just thought like with the little blanket and the heart cushions it's gonna look so pretty i'm just gonna throw it on the floor for the interim okay 
Anyway, I got this hairbrush which was a pound. Um, I tried using it yesterday morning and it was an epic fail. Um, so I need some practice with this. But I love it how like when you get your head in a cell and they like twist it and blow dry it and then it just goes down in waves and it looks so nice. So I tried that and literally like I was like, how is this so hard? Um, but yeah, I got that. It was only a pound, so we're gonna practice a little bit more. Maybe I will be able to get some perfect hair. We'll see. Um, I also picked up another eyebrow pencil. Um, this was only a pound. It's got a spooling tool on one side. It's like in a dark brown shade. Basically, a few months ago, I picked up loads of primer makeup, and because I was going to do like a test primer makeup video, and I filmed it all, and then it was blurry, and I never uploaded it. This is how much effort I put into my videos. I actually make videos, spend time, and then if I don't like them, I won't actually upload them. So. Yeah, I don't think people realise how much time goes into making videos, but I never uploaded it and then I didn't refilm it because the makeup was just rubbish and I was like, what's the point? Like, I'm gonna waste my time talking about this makeup and it's not gonna benefit anybody. So I never refilmed it, but the one thing from all the makeup that I picked up that I really, really loved was this eyebrow pencil and this is my second one that I'm going through now, so yeah. Wearing it right now. I also picked up this bangle. Um, with beading down here. It's just really really pretty. It was actually on sale so I got it for a pound um, but it matches my um, pearl rings that I picked up in my last Primark haul um, and yeah I just thought it was really really pretty. I've got like fluff from the blanket all over my trousers now. I'm gonna have to like get sellotape to pick this off. I didn't realise how badly it was and that the, I didn't realise that the fluff shredded off so that might be a little bit of a problem. Uh, and then I picked up a few pairs of trousers just because it's winter and yeah I'm going to be like wearing jeans and trousers more now because it's harder to wear skirts in this weather. Um, the first thing I picked up was a pair of black jeans which I've already worn so they're in my wardrobe somewhere um, but I think they were 10 or 12 pounds they're just the normal Primark jeans um, and then I picked these up which are exactly the same as what I'm wearing right now but I needed a new pair. These are knitted skinnies um, in black. These are a size 10 and they've also got fluff from the blanket on them so I really do need to um, facilitate that down. Um, they are in a size 10, how much are they? These were £10. Um, these are really good for winter, they keep you warm. They're a little bit like leggings but obviously they're thicker so they provide better coverage. And they're good if you want to like just layer it up with jumpers and sweaters and hardies and that's pretty much the same thing isn't it. But yeah they're really good for just if you want to wear them underneath a long top or something so I picked those up. And then I also picked up some grey jeans. Now these are in a size 8. So those in a size 10 fit me, these in a size 8 fit me. And that's the only thing that I don't like about Primark is that the sizing is really weird. Like there were so many things that I saw that I really liked and they just did not have my size. Like they had loads of lovely coats and then I'd put them on like I'd put on like a size 8 and it wouldn't fit right, I'd put on a size 10 and it wouldn't fit right and I'd put on a size 12 so the fitting isn't great um, and then they had this like one khaki top which I really really loved it was like a um an olive it wasn't khaki khaki it was olive it was long sleeve and it was a long top and it was like ribbed so it makes you look extra slim um, but they only had them in like size 18 and 19, uh, um, 16 and 18 and I was really tempted to like just get the 16 because I liked the top so much but I was like if it's not going to fit probably what's the point but they had that with a lot of their stock of them and I don't know if it's because it's last season stuff and they're changing over or what but yeah that was kind of annoying but yeah anyway back to the jeans before I got from tangent um, I just picked up these are just some grey ones super stretch skinny ultra soft these were £12 um, and I just think grey is a good colour and I don't have any grey jeans and you need some grey jeans for all grey bottoms, trousers, skirts for the autumn winter months. So yeah, I got those. And then finally I picked up two tops. This one is like my favourite. How can I go out shopping and not buy something khaki? Look at it. I actually got some khaki heels from up here. I got some khaki heels from you look yesterday, so I know this is cheap because this is not for Primark. These are not for Primark, but I got these in the new look sale for £10 and they're going to go amazingly well with that. I can't wait to wear those. Um, but yeah, I picked this up. It's like a crocheted long top. Like, it, it gives good bum coverage as well. I always make sure that whatever top I wear with jeans that I've got good coverage at the back. And like, now I have a tendency to wear long jackets or long like vest coats on top as well. Because um, I just feel they cover a bit more. And especially winter you can get away with it. Um, but yeah, this is quite long. It's bat wing so the uh, arms are really tight. The arms are smaller crochet and the main bodice 
is thicker crochet this and then it's got like a gold detailed zip down the back this was 10 pounds and it just it's so comfy and it's so versatile because you can wear it as casual but then if you stick a blazer on top on wear it with work trousers you can make it smart as well i really really wanted this um in white and i had it but i just didn't have it in my size so this is size 10 to 12 i picked it up um, and then the white one they didn't have in anything smaller than a 16 and I was really annoyed because I did really want the white one um, and then I also picked up a mustard coloured top uh, this is just a basic top, it was only £6 I got it in size 12 because I wanted it to be quite um, loose fitting it's not a long one I don't think maybe slightly long but it, I think it's waist length and then it's just got that line down the middle really really simple, they had it in loads of different colours but I thought mustard is quite nice especially for this time of year and you can pair it with loads of different things like wear it with this colour scarf and it would look really pretty um, but yeah that is the final thing that I got um, there is other stuff that I bought but because I've been taking things out because it's been sun for so long I'm sure I've missed stuff and I feel like this video has been like a little bit rambly just because it's the second time I filmed and I think the second time you film something you can't remember whether you've spoken about it previously or not or whether you've spoken about it twice or not in one video gets a little bit confusing but i hope it was okay um, if there's any particular videos you guys want to see make sure you let me know in the comments down below if you like this make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you haven't